Good morning, it's time for another Trick Tip Tuesday, but I need coffee. Let's get some. <sighs> Guys, look at how clean my trunk is. <laughs> it's horrible. So we're back at Edison Park. Today we're talking about Nali 540 shove -its. It's a pretty standard trick for freestyle. It's a big one for contest skating. It is really cool to see when you can do a bunch of different variations of 540 shove -its in a contest routine. Guys like Tony Gale are doing a bunch of different ones lately. They're crazy. Before I get to that, I wanna talk about freestyle and why freestyle. I get that question a lot. People seem to think that it's sort of a lame thing. It's all flat ground, it's really limiting. Although I do a more traditional form of it, there's so many guys out there who are doing so many different styles of freestyle, have so many different approaches that are really unique. I think that's the beauty of it. We have a community of people who are so different, have so many different ideas, and uh, they all can kind of come together and be stoked on just skateboarding. So whether you're pushing Mongo and riding a longboard or you're on a shortboard and hardly rolling, sick, keep doing it. In these trick tips, I'm going over sort of some of the core basics to what makes freestyle skateboarding what it is. I'm going over some tricks that you can kind of branch out into your own variations with. But the idea is to get you thinking about tricks in a different way. And whether you're a freestyler and you want to just do flat ground freestyle for the rest of your life, or if you're a street skateboarder and you want to include a pogo in your street skating somewhere, or you're just a skateboarder and you just want to try different things because you like all kinds, this is something for you, right? So. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. I'm not gonna stop doing these because they're way too much fun. And I have way more bits in the future I'm working on. So let's get to 540 shove -its before I keep rambling on anymore. Yeah, I'll show you how to do them. Because they look like this. And this is how you do them. Front foot pointed towards the nose, angled forward, right? Back foot square over the back bolts with your toes kind of hanging over the rail like that. Now once you have your feet set up, you're going to want to simultaneously pivot off of the front foot while throwing the board with your back foot. It's about 50-50, right? Half of the rotation comes from pivoting off the front foot, kind of tweaking that ankle around to get the board spinning. And 50% comes from the back foot, which is catching the rail and throwing the board behind it. Now that's gonna launch you forward in the direction that you're rolling and set you up to catch the board again. It's gonna look like you're kind of skipping forward if you do it right. You land with your back foot first, catching the tail, and sort of do a little bit of a pivot to the full 540 degree angle. Yeah, that's really it guys. Go out and try them. Um, biggest thing I could suggest if you're having trouble with them is to do it on a slick surface to really focus on having your shoulders square in the direction that you're rolling. So having your chest facing the direction that you're rolling. Other than that, just go fast. Don't be scared of speed. Don't be scared to fall a little bit. It's gonna happen. It's part of learning. And have some fun. Go out. Look at skateboarding differently next time you go out and try it. Thanks guys, bye. I mean, I know I do too. Wait, do you? What's your in scene? Hell yeah. <laughs>